I've done a radio install in a machine in an older forklift and it was very simple especially when it was a cable in place and I did not have to do much so I just had to put kind of a bracket without drilling holes I used to drill holes in a in a structure but I'm looking at this machine and it's very old and most likely they will uh, get rid of it in a couple of years and I still did a all right job I, I would say it usually I drill holes into into here or into a structure that is not affecting the safety of the driver um, sometimes they depend depends but uh, today I want to show you uh, how dirty these uh, machines can get in case you are one of those young folks who want to get into uh, mobile and accessories installations and stuff so if they promise you in a school that you'll get a lot of money and uh, you will have a nice job cool job instead of being in a construction site you'll do some nice jobs in a boat and all that stuff yeah uh, yeah you can get to those um, but depends if you accept to do dirty jobs and nobody else want to do those yeah you will get you will be given those dirty jobs that other people avoid and uh, yeah depends of you if you have that mindset that you're the person who are willing to do anything and everything like myself I don't uh, I'm not concerned for my job security but I like to do things that people are not willing to so dirty jobs I don't mind it you know so after my four years of um, let's say in uh, in English here college st study in my uh, back country it was uh, called the university for four years uh, I'm doing this type of stuff that people with my study would not touch yeah, that's you know I make my own choices I do uh, life adventures that many people would not uh, think of and so I'm going to show you uh, you see so you have to kind of uh, wear some sort of a uh, coveralls my, my jeans are now uh, stained with all this stuff so it's grease and it's fuel fumes and imagine if if these things here like that imagine the driver who is using this machine for for a number of years imagine what gets into his lungs it's like a smoker you know you either smoke and you get stuff in your lung that never come out some stuff comes out but yeah that's the thing and if you have to do the antenna of course you have to go around Greece and I'll show you on the other side it's all oil on the ground and yeah so someone else did the antenna previously I just uh, rewired it sometimes you have to do things like that but I'm telling you uh, most people who pay for their school and education and training they are becoming snobs they think they are better than the ones who don't have the education and they are not willing to take these type of jobs so it's all in your mind if you are one of those who grew up into a, an environment where you have to manage to do things not only for survival but for you know for your personal growth and you are not afraid to expand your comfort zone yeah you would do stuff like that like a people in a different country let's say people in Russia you see you know uh, I know in different kind I was not, I did not grow up in uh, in Russia but uh, I had our uh, uh, the head manager of our uh, company 
not the the big company it was kind of a subsidiary uh, he was going yeah. under the trucks repairing stuff you know like a driver but he had the job as a manager and he did his job well and um, I always I, I, I was always impressed by that guy so there are people in my life who inspired me to do more and uh, like I said to grow and is who I am I became one of those so I do I don't do this type of stuff uh, it's just like a once in a blue moon but I, I do very complicated stuff not only bench repairs I do systems and stuff so that's it take, take care bye bye